So two days ago, I produced a video for myself and all of you regarding this microscope. And uh, up there, there should be a link to that episode. That one, for my users, exploded. I got so many likes, so many comments, and it was viewed many, many times. By the way, please be so kind to subscribe to my channel. This way you help me get my content out. It seems that half of you are not subscribing. It would be nice. I'm just, yeah, please. Okay, so back to this. It's gonna be an episode two. I'm trying to make it very short. We'll see how far it goes. I just wanna talk about the extension, the things that I changed with it. So it came like this and I mounted it on this via this. I've changed everything and uh, I know you can't see it right now, but I produced this tiny piece. I went into our CNC um, machines and I um, yeah, cut this out in some metal. And this is all that I'm gonna use going forward. I'm only gonna use the camera and one piece, this piece. I'll move you closer, you'll have a look. That's all I'm gonna use. So the rest of all of this, this one which was very heavy, that's all gone. And we can put this on here and hopefully it won't do all of this when I'm on the table. I know a lot of you have uh, been commenting and even some of you have been writing to me. This is why I'm doing this. And um, obviously the best solution for the actual arm, we have a white one in the back, is not to mount it on the table. This is the table that can go up and down and it's uh, wobbly. So this should be mounted on a wall. I cannot have something mounted on my walls here, sadly, or on the floor somehow, or something that is not connected to my table. Sadly for me, that is not possible. So I have to have it mounted to the table. This is why I'm coming up with this solution, number two, which I hope will benefit um, other people. I will move you closer. We will have a talk about it. And I also have two boards, um, which I also will talk about. And I'll try to solder something on the board. They are broken. So we'll try to fix that. And um, while I'm moving you closer, I'm taking this attraction off all of this. And then we'll have a look at what I came up with. Yes, I took it off, that stand, and I, um, let me just briefly explain. There is a um, tiny screw in there. You need a hex screwdriver to lift it out so it doesn't push into, let me not ruin everything. It actually pushes in on this and can be screwed in here. And this mechanism is the one where this contraption moves up and down at just a tiny bit. So. This is all gone. And what I did is I produced this. Hopefully you can see it. So it's kind of like, um, this goes obviously into my arm. This is for the space in between there. So um, this contraption goes in like this. And uh, maybe I shouldn't have screwed in the camera but nevertheless so this goes in here like this this is all we're going to be using so you could say um Tybo, could you not please just give me the dimension for all of this um, yes i could but it it depends on exactly what is this contraption when you're buying one of these and uh, it also depends on the actual arm wherever it's mounted so I don't think it makes any sense to give you any dimension or, or 3D drawings of this. Um, 
but basically it's just like this. And I'll screw in the screw up here and then I'll screw it in here with another screw, which I have on this one. This is the old one. Um, we could maybe give you some dimensions. So um, originally this was screwed in, not this one, sorry. I had this arm and I took this one off here. When I designed this, I just measured it. I think it was 18, this is 19.8 millimeters. So I drilled out in this one 20. But then again, we don't need this. And now you can see I actually also produced more or less the same as the one on the camera here. It's just not screwed in. It's like this. So, okay, let me uh, just uh, very quickly um, mount all of this into here with a screw and put it up and then let's have a talk. Let me just quickly do that. Okay, it's all fixed. I will move the camera a little bit further away and uh, focus more on the actual screen because this is where we'll be working. So um, the contraption, I'm not sure if we can see it from the side, maybe like this, is now extremely light. It's still, yeah, wobbly. It's a crappy arm and eventually I'll find a better arm, a stronger arm, and I'll do another contraption that can be mounted into this with the same thing. But this is super light now, um, and I can tip this all the way away. So when I'm sitting, looking at, let me find it, I need to move up. Where are we here? My issue, I don't know if you can see all of this, this is a wire that goes here. The board is very dirty. Let me just be honest about that. All the wires along the board are damaged. Uh, this came out of an Olivetti M24 SP. This board is actually the board that you use if you want to have um, 16 color in 640 times 400 lines. 16 colors. You just put this into the computer, hook it to the existing uh, graphics card, and then you get 16 colors. It's crazy amazing. But, and I have two. And it's the same problem. These wires are eaten up. So we need to, I was thinking, let's desolder the wires and let's see if we can solder new wires into this um, now that we have this huge screen. Um, and uh, I have all my tools over there. I'm pretty sure you can see them. So this is usually my setup more or less. So I can now easily have my sort desoldering iron and I can find stuff and desolder stuff in here. So with all that set, I think I'm gonna arrange this as I want it to be. So I need this a little bit higher. Sorry, that's a chopper once again. I'm living next to an airport, so uh, it happens. Let me fix this like this. And then we need to make focus. That's the other way. There we go. So basically, all these wires are coming from up here, different kinds of places. Going down, as you can see, it's all broken. It's all open. And we need to, um, well, I need to uh, take them away and make new ones. Basically, those three, there's one coming from this side over here, going upwards, so there, going up, going over to the second leg up here. That needs to go away. And what this does, it goes on the third leg, one, two, three, th third leg and I'll turn the board around. All it does, these three wires go through on the back and comes up and connects to this. This is a setting, if I show you the other board, it's the same, it's the same. So here it's pretty, but it's still broken up here. So it goes 
down and comes up and then you can uh, depending on what kind of mode you want it in there's the switches you can set these so it, it combines some I mean some voltage or ground leads to some of all the uh, chips that's on the board so if I just turn this one around and find it there we go so they go into the board here comes out and goes down there which are the three let me do this it's super time maybe I should take it a little bit further away so board number one board number two so these three are these three let me uh, try I, I, I seriously love this camera I've been working a little bit with them for the two days I have had this one and it's crazy. It's also annoying because even though when I look at the board with my eyes, it's, cr it's pretty. But when I look at it, I see all this all over the place. I can't see it with my bare eyes. So there we go. I just figured out that the um, camera was not in the place where everybody could see. So I'm back and um, I have the orange wire. And the idea is now to put the orange wire through this so that it can be connected next to the two other blue ones. So it's going to come out here and move up there. So um, let me just uh, sit and uh, get this all the way in here. Well, it actually went smoothly in. Let me see. Yep. Fine. And it needs to be bent it over. I think I want a screwdriver for this. These two need to go up. So this goes here. This is not a, a tutorial in soldering or how to do all of this. I will just quickly explain what it is that I'm doing. And once I've shown this, I'll just solder it and come back. The idea is just to kind of like explain that because, and I hope everybody can see, because I now don't have this stand, nothing is in the way of my table and everything for me, and this could just be me, is just gliding along and it seems just to be easier. I don't think about it and it's very intuitive for me to look at the screen or down here if I'm on, on the actual board. So everything is just better with the stand out of the way. Okay, cool, not talking. Let me um, solder this in on the back and solder it to this IC up here, which was B, where is it? B5, second leg. So I'll just solder it in there. Let me come back once this is done. Okay, I told you this would be a quick video. I'm not gonna show you how much I have soldered, but it's all in, it's on the way, and in the back soldered in and moved up here and over there and in here, and I need to change it because I uh, these wires are not good enough. When uh, they touch the iron, <laughs> they melt. So I need to order the right stuff. This is something that I got off on another computer. So I'm um, not gonna solder anymore because I'm not sure you can see it I hope let's see can you if I'm, yeah you should be able to so this happened to me so I need to redo all of this but this is not about uh, me soldering and obviously I'm not that good at it yet I'm practicing and I'm getting better this was just about the contraption here and um, Yes, if I move the table, this does this still. So there's a little further way for me to go to make this stable. I will maybe eventually find another solution. I won't come back to this um, microscope anymore, but I'm just gonna say, I love it. There's no doubt about it. And this will help me heaps among. Um, one thing that is not good at is when I need to, let me use a screwdriver, if I needed to look 
this way and not from upside. This is this is not good. I cannot get in and I cannot really see anything when I'm close to on the screen because the camera only looks down. Um, I'm pretty sure we could try. I could turn it a little bit like this, maybe. I haven't even tried it. I should have. Yeah. The only problem is it's in the way now, the camera. There we go. So now, if I move this away. Now it's easier for me to have a look, but now it's a little bit further away on the table. But it's, I can now see a little bit on an angle into the board. Uh, obviously, that's how it is. There's nothing to do about that. Um, but there we go. One thing that I struggled, not struggled with, I didn't mention at all um, last time, is that um, you can take a picture, obviously. If you press on the first button on the screen, it just takes a picture like this. If I press on the second screen, and sadly you cannot see what's up here on my screen, because it's somewhere out there, but it's up here. And if I press on the second one, it now, goes to red, which means it's now recording everything. So you can easily record stuff with the camera. And when you're done, you just press it again, and then it's stored on the um, SD card that's in the back. So, again, love it. This is much better when the, instead of the uh, big contraption, which I have here, this is too heavy. And uh, it's certainly better instead of having this mounted on this plate. That will never work for me. And I so much enjoy that I have all the space underneath me. I would like to say thank you to everybody who has um, written in, um, making comments, but also to the three persons who have written to me and asking about the dimensions and stuff. Um, I really enjoy that you're interacting with me and I really try to answer everything that I can, um, which is one of the reasons I just made this. So it's easy for me just to make a video and you can see how I did stuff. Um, please, again, as I said in the beginning, subscribe. Seems that uh, more than half of you are not subscribing, but liking my video and watching it. So please do me a favor, subscribe. Um, with that, I think I want to say goodbye and um, the reason why I actually have these two is because I got four Olivetti M24, two M24 and two, sorry, there we go, two M24 SPs. They came from a barn. They were really crap and uh, I'm working on that video which will come out I think after this one eventually in a week or two weeks time. It's a huge, huge job for me um, and that will be a mini series and um, I needed these two up and running so this is why I need to focus on all of this as you can see it's, 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 it's crap. I cannot put them into the computer. They will shut something. So there we go. Again, thank you. See you soon.